hello 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 welcome back i'm so sorry i look so not put together that's because y'all i've been cooking some really good food and y'all would have thought today was my memorial day no no i'm just hungry and i have meds that i need to take so y'all is about to join me i like literally did y'all see that shit y'all we're about to change out this particular med. I have two meds that I take once a week. This is one of them. I'm overdue, but it's not like, oh, if you don't change it by this time, like I'm pretty sure I can keep this patch on for like, I don't know, another couple of days or so, but I'm gonna change it because the way that I'm feeling, I really need to make sure. And let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So I'm gonna educate you guys just a little bit. This is a narcotic. <laughs> if y'all want to call me a crackhead, by all means, call me a crackhead. Call me a lovely crackhead because the doctor, you know, <laughs> y'all going to call me a crackhead. The doctor prescribes my marijuana. The doctor prescribes this narcotic because why? I have a torn patella. I have an alta patella. Alta patella in Latin means a high patella. My patella sits high. What is a effing patella? A patella is your kneecap. And the tendon that actually keeps it in place, in my case, is torn. And that's why my kneecap sits higher than it's supposed to. Now, I'm going to tell you guys that I can actually die from these drugs. And you're like, how? If I touch this pat patch in the wrong way, which I've done like la the first time I put this. Oh, well, no. When I had to switch on my old patch, I almost overdosed. And so it's always important to have Narcan. I literally got this from the community, like the someone out in the community. And he was like looking me in my eyes like, are you glazed out? Are you a crackhead? Or are you on? No, bitch. I'm on drugs every single day on the hour, every hour, because I have a partially torn patella tendon. My tendon is torn. My kneecap is out of place. And it is extremely painful to get up and to function and to sleep and to eat and to do everything else. I have not eaten all day okay so we're going to change this patch and I have to be absolutely careful when I do this because guess what if I touch the patch in the wrong way I have to wash my hands or else I'm gonna OD okay now what we do is we rip this off and sometimes it stays I actually like this manufacturer um some people have mistaken my patch oh my gosh they have mistaken this patch for a nicotine patch. No, I get 10 micrograms of buprenorphine. If you're a pharmacist, please forgive me. I always butcher pharmaceutical medication because I, I, I don't know. Um, and I'm holding it like this because guess what? If I touch this area, I'm going to have to wash my hands or else guess what? I'm going to like like I'm going to feel like I'm dying and I'm going to want to pass out. So I must hold this patch very carefully. Now to properly dispose it, I'm going to fold this in half. And I have a disposal unit that I can just put this in and I'll show you guys. This I'm just going to cut and I have to rotate. So I'm either going to do my back or I'm going to do... I could do above my tattoo... This is always the tricky part because I have to rotate this patch. So let me go. Let me find a spot to put this patch and I will come back with a whole nother video. I will show you how it looks and everything when it comes out the package. As a matter of fact, let's do it right now. I'm not going to come back. I'm going to do it right now. You know, one hand because I got to do this with one hand and I'm cooking too. That's the funny part. Like I'm cooking and I'm like trying to change my meds. One of two. Okay. All right. Has a lot number. Um, the people that make my birth control that also make these patches, they don't do a good job. This is how it looks. <laughs> this is how it looks. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Guess what? For the people in the nursing field, 
the first thing you should do, the first thing I'm going to do because I just took off a nasty patch is wash my hands. You should wash your hands, okay? You should always, always, always wash your piggy little hands. Yeah, and I am, yeah, you damn the fuck right. I wash my hands and turn my motherfucking chicken and I'll wash my hands again because I got to wash my other hand and we're going to pick a spot to actually put my patch on so yeah I am probably gonna wash my hands again because I'm I'm like that always wash your hands always always especially because I just ripped off the patch as you can see I just ripped off that patch I should wash my hands now how do you apply a Butrans patch very simple I'm going to pick oh, above my tattoo or I'm gonna pick my arm We'll do my arm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pr I'm gonna like dry my hands off, and it's a huge patch. So I'm gonna rip one side, okay? One side. It's like a band aid. One side, and I'm actually going to switch hands. You see how I had to do that? Look, look, look. Just forgive me for the clutter in my kitchen. Like I like to make sure my patch. Lace flat. I'm very anal. The hell? Okay. Now you see, if I were to go, right, this area has meds. If I touch it, I'm going to OD, okay? Got to be careful. I'm going to lift this up. If I touch it, it's not the end of the world. I have to wash my hands. So guess what? Right? You're like, legs. Like, this happens to me a lot. I'm gonna touch, I'm gonna touch the part with the meds on it. This is my left hand. My left hand just touched my patch. Boop, I just touched my patch. I have meds on my hand. I'm gonna put that patch on, right? Press it. I'm gonna press it. I'm going to wash my hands because if I don't, in the next hour, I'm going to feel like I am dying, okay? Um, I could use gloves, which I am thinking about. And I'm going to thoroughly wash my hands because y'all saw me touch the patch. I touched the area with the meds. Just to show you guys, like, yeah, see? Boop! New patch! And I get disposal units, but it is a patch that gives me narcotics Every hour on the hour because my doctor thinks this is better than me taking Vicodin, which is hillbilly, ho co uh, hillbilly cocaine, and skipping my dose. Because when I was on Vicodin, I was skipping my doses and they would literally have to tell me to take my pain meds. So for all of you, those, for all of those that think I'm a crackhead, go right ahead. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. I don't care. I do not care. The state gives me all my control substances. Everything I do is legal and I'm okay with that. But I just wanted to show you guys how I do this. I didn't think it was a narcotic until I started feeling the, the overdose. This is Narcan. So I have it just in case like, God forbid in the next hour, I feel like I'm going to, like I'm going to drop down because it's, it has happened I have my Narcan. I will take it. I did wash my hands. I'll probably wash them again because that feeling that I'll explain it to you guys. It's a feeling of death. I am someone who's always cold. And when I feel like I'm overdosing because I either change my patch or whatever, I feel I get really, really hot. It's to the point where I'm like sweating and that's a concern for me. So I'll go and I'll, I'll have to like lay down because it feels like I'm going to pass out. I'll always open the window to get cold air on me. Cold air is what stops me from passing out, is what actually stops me from overdosing. Hot showers, anything hot, no. It, it will actually induce it even more. That's why with these type of patches, don't go to saunas, don't go to like um, hot, like, like even my heating pad. I can use it on my lower back, but when it comes to like my cervical, I have to be very careful. So that is that. Um, I never miss 
my meds. So every hour on the hour, I get 10 micrograms of my meds. And this is a patch that lasts for a week. So with that being said, 10 micrograms an hour of narcotics for the next seven days on the hour, every hour. Yeah. Do I feel my meds when I first started the patch or when I increase, I feel the meds from the patch. Like I feel that increase in, in, I feel the, nar I feel the increase in the narcotics and I feel how my body responds to it. So I just wanted to like educate you guys. If you are on any type of narcotics, whether or not the doctor gives you Narcan, you should always have Narcan. Like my doctor did not prescribe Narcan, but damn sure I made sure to get it just in case I have an accidental overdose on my meds. So I just wanted to come kind of share this with you guys. I think I shared something like this similar. If I didn't, girl, y'all, girl, boy y'all <laughs> I, I like honestly but i just want to make this i hope you enjoy it please like share and subscribe and you know i'm making this for awareness i am on two different type of controlled substances it does not fully impair my mental capacity i still operate i still operate as a normal person do i ever tweak out on these meds no, I don't. I can't tweak on marijuana and I can't tweak on this. So I just want to bring awareness that people who are on narcotics or who are on pain meds, they are not crackheads. They need their meds, just like people who are on the marijuana program, especially in my state, will say, oh, I need my meds. What is the difference between marijuana, this, and whatever else? Actually, um, it, interesting fact, if you're going through drug withdrawal, they give you a different version of my patch. And it actually, um, it's called Suboxone, I think. Don't quote me. But the, comp the, the pharmaceutical or like the chemical comp um, composition of that is a little bit different because when you come off of drugs, your body's in chronic pain. So methadone is a painkiller. Methadone is an opioid. OK, a lot of people don't know that they're switching out one opioid or like one drug for another in, in a lot of cases. So I'm bringing this or I'm, I'm creating this for awareness so that people understand, like, I need my meds. I do not care. I've had an employer call, literally insinuate I'm a crackhead. That's fine. That's OK. I mean, I'm, I'm still working another job that I've worked over a year. I'm still functioning. I mean, if y'all, I mean, you could look me dead in my face, call me a crackhead, I don't care, call me a drug addict, I don't care, because I did not put myself in this situation, and people don't care about that either, so why should I care about what other people think? But I just want y'all to know that you can tell when someone's a little on, okay? I'm just letting y'all know. Have a good day, stay up, be blessed, enjoy your more Memorial Day. And I hope y'all enjoy this. I'm going to try and do different types of content. Soon will be the hair. Long hair. Don't care. Have, have a great day. Have a great weekend. Have a good Memorial Day if I don't connect with y'all.